Uh, the, the film has, has received really good uh, reviews and everything, many awards, but when it was uh, shown in Croatia and in Sarajevo in Bosnia, yeah, it was like, okay, and nobody talked about it. So I think the topic of, of the documentary, although I think it's only marginally related to war crimes is still something that people in the Balkans, where, where the war was happening, still don't want to, you know, talk about. Because, like, wherever we went, I, I went to three, four uh, um, festivals like this. We always had good Q&As and everything, but nothing, absolutely nothing followed uh, uh, screenings in, in Zagreb, in Sarajevo and in Varaždin. Nobody want, wanted to know anything, so yeah, I'm afraid. Well, I, I was thinking when, it's, when we were making it, especially when once it was finished, I was thinking, okay, this is soft touch. It's not really like opening, it's this person's blame, it's that person's blame. So I thought this would have good, uh, uh, it would have good impact on, on the people there. My, my, my hopes were like, oh, it would be great if people would say and, and, and see this and say, well, it doesn't really actually matter who started first. What matters is that there was so much suffering, which shouldn't have happened. But they're still in this uh, who started first. And, but yeah, I was, that was the reason I wanted, I wanted to talk about it, because also I thought maybe slowly it can get through the thick ears of some people if it's shown in this gentle way. But I was, I was, I was wrong. No, they don't react to it. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm a little bit, this is one part where I, where I feel it was really, I'm disappointed that, that it didn't make an impact. It's great, everybody like all over Europe where I've been, everybody has questions, asks and everything. But where, where it was happening, nothing, you know, it's wrong somehow. Disappoint. Sorry, this was not the answer you needed. <laughs> I must say that when I, when I first saw it, I thought it was, there was no time in it. It does not go sequentially. It does not, we're just like one person, emotions. It's linked, not through progress of time. It's somehow put together, I think, by heavy emotions that and going from lighter to, to, to heavier throughout uh, the movie. You, you start with some experiences that are not so terrible and then slowly you build up and then towards the end some of the experiences that we talk about are really very strong. So I think time does not really exist. It's almost like on the internet. There is no today, tomorrow and 500 years ago. Everything is now. You just click on it and it's now. So it's, for me, it's also somehow this movie. Maybe, maybe also because I, I had worked for 20 years, more than 20 years, on a period of time of five years. Every year, you know, you're just stuck in one short time zone. Five years of war, five years of war. So I lived in, in these five years. But for me, when I watched the film, it was like, no, this is, these are impressions that could have happened at any moment. No, no time is happening in the movie for me. As, as I was working as, as an interpreter, I was always thinking that so many aspects of that job that are not well known, that maybe should be changed for the better for interpreters and also, you know, like I was always thinking there are things that people don't think about this. So when the offer came to talk about my work and how it feels and I was, I was really happy about it. Yes, I wanted to tell everything that, that I was thinking about. So that, that's how I felt. Glad. I was totally like, yay. Well, I'll say it again. I don't feel I'm an actor. I, it was a documentary, so I was more like a, in documentaries, like a piece of furniture sometimes. I was there. Um, it turned out I, I did have to act later, but uh, no, I, I don't feel I'm an actor. However, I do like this attention that I'm getting now.